Hey everyone, Scoop Scientist here. Uh, before I get started with my uh, video, I just wanted to quickly show you this. There's a koala just kind of chilling on this little wooden platform. So obviously you can tell I live in Australia. Okay, so enough about koalas and onto the video. Um, this here is galena. It's mostly made out of lead. I think if you've seen my rock collection video, I show another version or another um, rock of this that I have. Um, but what I'm after actually is this. This is iron pyrite. It comes sometimes with these. You can find this stuff within the galena. Um, but what this has is what this has in it is sulfur, and that's what I'm after. It has two sulfur atoms for every one iron atom. So if I heat it up to 800 degrees with this little blowtorch thing that I have, then um, one of the sulfur atoms will leave the iron, giving me elemental sulfur. Okay, so my setup here, I'm going to have this, um, it's like an old bullet shell, there's my iron pyrite and there's a little uh, glass tube that I have. I'm going to put that in there, have that nice and fastened, I'm going to uh, then put, I'm going to grind this up, put this in the bullet shell, heat it up, heat the bottom of the bullet shell and hopefully some sulfur will go into this, I'm going to block off the end and then collect some sulfur. So just in there in the bag you can see semi-grinded iron pyrite. Um, if I can I'll grind it up more but if not I can just put it straight into the shell there. Well, there we go. I got there's still quite some big chunks, but there's a lot of tiny little dust pieces. So I'm going to put this into the shell and then heat it up. So let's slowly and carefully put this in here. So my sulfur's in there. If you can hear it, so I'm going to set this up now and heat it up. So after many trials and errors, I finally got something. Now I'm gonna light this and see if I can get some sulfur. Well, as you can see right up here, there's like a white gas that's building up. It could be like sulfur dioxide or something. Not quite sure at the moment. Ah, uh, right there. It's yellow. That is a pretty positive sign of sulfur, I must say. Okay, I'm actually going to stop it right there. And I need to be really careful because everything is going to be really hot. Okay, now I want to focus on this. There's lots of yellow up there, and there's just like white cloud looking stuff just down below it. But okay, right in, okay, now in this, right here. The iron pyrite I would expect to be black if there's been some reaction. Okay. It looks black to me, so um, it seems as though something has happened. I'm going to make a call and say that I did make sulfur because of the iron pyrite here. 
that has turned black. So it went from this color here, it's sort of gold looking, to this black color right there. So hopefully, well I'm hoping that I have successfully made sulfur. Uh, but anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to see future videos like this. I was just heating the end of this um, glass rod here with the sulfur in it and there's this white gas that started to come out. Definitely, definitely smelt like sulfur dioxide so yay sulfur.